Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will have a look how to control the Matrix Aura remotely via eDMX. When we want to control the Aura remotely with another lighting control solution, we can use Artnet or Streaming AZN. Furthermore, the Aura provides up to 8 different remote control ports. As task, we have to control the Aura remotely via streaming AZN at Universe 35. We want to control the following functions remotely. Channel 1 should start the playback by every change in value of the first channel. Channel 2 should pause the playback if the DMX value will be above 127. Channel 3 should go to queue number 1 if the DMX value is above 10. And channel 4 should activate the next queue of the Aura queue list if the value of this channel is above 127. We are already in the remote control menu of the Aura. As first task, we have to enable the remote control of the desired ports. According to our task, we have to activate one port. We will choose port number one. And we change the protocol to streaming AZN. As universe, we set 35. To accept these settings, we have to click the set button of this section. Now we can start to add eDMX remote commands. The first command should start the playback. Therefore, we click the plus button at the remote event list and now we change the settings of this remote event. As name, we call it play. We have to activate the status event and as action we change to play. Now we have to click set. In the next step we add the pause functionality. Therefore we click plus again and now we change the event name to pause. Again, we have to activate the status. As channel, we change it to channel number 2. The parameter type, we change to value above. And as parameter value, we set 127. As action, we choose pause. And of course, we have to click set. For the third remote command, we click the plus button again and we change the name to Q1. We activate it and then we change the channel to number 3. As parameter value, we set again value above, but now the value must be set to 10. As action, we choose Q, but now we want to have a fixed Q, so we change the value type to fixed value and the value to number 1. And of course, we click set. As last function for this tutorial, we want to add the functionality to activate the next Q of the Q list. Therefore, we click the plus button again. As event name, we call it next queue. We activate this remote event. We change the channel to number four. As parameter type, we set also value above. And according to our task, we have to change the parameter value to 127. As action, we choose next queue and 
we click set. Now all EDMX remote functions are added according to our task and we can test it. Therefore we navigate to the control menu. By the way, a queue list has been already created. If you don't know how to create a queue list, please have a look at the tutorial creating a queue list. Back to our test. For this test, a lighting controller which can send streaming AZN data to the Aura is connected. If we change the value of the first fader, the Aura starts to play. If fader number 2 is above 127, the playback will pause. With the fourth fader, we can activate the next queue. And with fader number three, we will start the first queue again. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.